How's it going? Pretty good. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. Nice. Oh, good job today, dude. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, nice outfit. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I tried, really. We're good? Okay. All right, here we go. My baby's gone like a flame Put out by the rain Water down the drain Hi, I'm Tarek and welcome to the show. Vancouver's Mother Mother writes songs that turn conventional song structure on its head. Their unique boy-girl vocal lines weave in and out of unpredictable rhythms and chord changes in precise harmony, and each song demonstrates the band's finely tuned skills in orchestration and arrangement. The band takes words and phrases and carves them up into jagged but precise syllables, bouncing them back and forth in a kind of rapid-fire haze where words become rhythms and rhythms become words. And keeping in mind that founding members Ryan Goldemon and Sister Molly grew up on BC's Quadra Island, it's not surprising that sometimes these words take on the shape of sea creatures like octopi and fish. Mother Mother consistently raised the energy of the live room to high heights as well, whipping audiences into a frenzy with their infectious sound that fuses together everything from bluegrass to punk to folk and rock. In November of 2008, Mother Mother set up in our Vancouver studios for this CBC Radio 3 session, and they started off with Oh My Heart. Hi, my name's Ryan from the band Mother Mother. We're here at CBC Radio 3. We're going to perform a song called Oh My Heart. It's our first single off our new album, which uh, coincidentally is called Oh My Heart. There was a time when uh, we tossed around the idea of calling the song Omaha and making it an ode to a small Midwestern town in the United States of America. But thankfully, we went in a different direction. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's still like a lot of synth. I just need a very small amount of synth. Yeah, like half that. Yeah, let's try that.
This is the CBC Radio 3 Sessions. I'm Tarek here on a, a very rainy day in Vancouver with Mother Mother. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very Thank you. much. Very nice to have you. Uh, Ryan, maybe I'll get you to introduce everyone here, including yourself and, and who's playing what. Sure. I'm um, Ryan Goldemond. I play guitar and sing. Uh, Molly Goldemond, my sister, she sings and plays synth. Deborah Jean Creelman on vocals. Jeremy Page on bass guitar and clarinet and Ali Ciudad on drums. Right on. Well, welcome again. And uh, we just heard a song, a fantastic tune there called Oh My Heart to start things out. And uh, Oh My Heart, title of the album as well. And and, and Ryan, you, you've described that song as, as something that's kind of like about people feeling emotionless or or not being able to connect with their with their feelings and tossing their heart out in the water and you know trying to revive it in the fire and that sort of thing it was there something in particular that that sparked you thinking about this idea well the the chant oh my heart was something that that just came to be out of searching for words that sort of match the syllabic melody that was lingering when first writing the tune and just that sort of tormented exclamation oh my heart sort of conjured up feelings of not really being able to engage with other people emotionally and inspired the song and that and that theme and it's something that i feel from time to time <laughs> and i'm sure everybody feels it too it's like sometimes you, you want to be more compassionate and you want to empathize with someone or the world and you are just stoic and you are just so removed and and comfortable there but at the same time you feel a little guilty because it's it's good to care about things other than yourself yeah yeah i'm wondering even and, and probably like singing the song just like yeah makes, makes you connect emotionally in some mm -hmm. ways probably yeah too, it can right? be therapeutic yeah. on that level yeah when you thought of the idea, the, this sort of theme, maybe it was bubbling in your mind. Did you did you talk to the other bandmates and your your sis about it, or do you talk? Do you sort of throw around these ideas and say, "Hey, you know, I'm thinking about this," or how do you guys kind of yeah. collaborate on the on that sort of thematic sense of things? Well, I mean, the great help in just finding some nice, catchy little words to to fill in the gaps and just sort of extrapolate on the theme and. Yeah, I definitely go to them for support in trying to realize a vision for a song, lyrically or otherwise. All right, well, now one of the songs that uh, you probably definitely went to your sister here, Molly, is, is the next song you're going to play. Uh, it's called Sleep Awake. Now, this one you actually you wrote for Molly to sing, right? Yeah, I did. And it was a, it was a joy to write for that purpose because... Um, it's a joy to sing. <laughs> Thank well, you. It's a joy altogether. <laughs> what was that like when he brought that song to you? How did did he did he sing it to you and then you went oh, okay or did he, he? How did that he happen? He made a little demo. And, okay. Uh, yeah, there was always me wanting to sing a song, and so he wrote one that just it's I was so lucky it just fit perfectly and it really suited me and my voice. So yeah, yeah it was a joy to record and a joy to get to sing a song of his. Well. And be the first, though. And did yeah. you, when you when you wrote it, did you actually write it in the in the perfect key, or did you have to change that? Was it in the key I that think there fit you? Change. There was okay. a key change. There was a key change. A semitone, in fact. Yeah. Semitone. That's pretty close. It, it's amazing <laughs> what good. a semitone can do, though. Yeah, <laughs> it can be night and day. <laughs> Again. <laughs> True enough. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna hear "Sleep Awake." This is Mother Mother on the CBC Radio Three Sessions. This is uh, Mother Mother here at CBC Radio Three, and. Uh, in our theme of writing music about people with problems, this is one for the, uh, the schizophrenic and the paranoid, and it's entitled Sleep Awake. Yeah. 
This next song is called Body of Years, and um, we really toiled over the tempo on this song, and I, I think we finally come to a happy place. And uh, aside from that, it, it is a song about dark secrets, and it's told from the perspective of an old man riddled with guilt, just waiting to die.
That is Mother Mother from Vancouver on the CBC Radio 3 Sessions. That song called Body of Years. And as we sit here uh, in this afternoon recording, I, let's talk a little bit about vocals for a moment because that's a pretty key element in this band. I think anyone's listening right now is catching on to that blend of the three, the three vocals, particularly uh, Ryan, yourself, Molly, and, and Deborah Jean. It, it seems to blend so well together now. Did, was it always that way, or did it actually take a while to to really work up to what we hear is sounding so perfect now? It, it, there was chemistry at the beginning, which which inspired us staying with it. You know, it was a good thing off the bat, and it definitely has come a long way. You you hone your craft, and you get better at what you do the more you do it. But yeah, there was magic at the beginning. It's just carrying on down that path and taking it to different places. There's a lot you can do with singing and singing with people. So to get to that place, I would imagine it involved a certain amount of practicing yeah, and getting we, together. We were on a pretty harsh regimen. At the beginning. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Very, very uh, continuous and just like every day. diligent every day. And But I mean, it was so romantic at the same time. It wasn't like, okay, we got to practice and it's hard work and or doing it for the approval of any anybody or anything it was just fun and it mm-hmm. was like this new exciting project that like we found innocent. yeah mm-hmm. very innocent so it was like it wasn't it was more about just hanging out and singing and just let like finding these songs personalities and that that treasured thing the voice keeping it keeping it well and healthy it's 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 funny that i've had it on my mind thinking about vocals because we've had a couple of artists come by the the radio three studios in the last couple of weeks who've had voice issues you know they've mm-hmm. lost their voice on tour and this yeah. sort of thing it's been we've seen we've seen things like that yeah we've had so, things like that happen. well i was going to ask him <laughs> molly i noticed you had the nice thermos the silver thermos of tea there are uh-huh. there are there things that you do out there to protect that voice because if if it's not working that that's that's a big part of the band it's right? a scary thing it's like you can't really predict you have to be as diligent as you can be with drinking lots of water and not drinking too much alcohol and all this <laughs> boring stuff. Yeah. But uh, you can't predict. Sometimes you lose it just for no reason, and mm-hmm. that's that. And Does it, that happen? That's the mo- that happens, and yeah. it has happened, and it's so frustrating because you can't fix it. Yeah, it's like some <laughs> wow. greater power is really out to get to yeah. get you in those moments. So what would you do in that situation? Just, you just do your best. Yeah. I mean... In yeah. live settings, it's a different animal, so hopefully there's enough energy and good show and the songs are coming through enough that we can all help each other out. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah, all nice you can hope for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Recording, it wouldn't work so well. Right. But yeah, you just have to give, give an energy what you can't in voice. That's what I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Presented in that way. And- yeah. Ryan, from what I understand, um, it's you that brings the, the sort of raw idea of the song and then collectively you guys shape it further so I'm, I'm curious to know how far along is that song when you introduce it into the collective process and then how much does it evolve into the idea of the song that we know it and we hear it on record well it's like a campfire song when i'm sort of done with it and mm-hmm. a lot of the like the further production and the beats and the harmonies are something that can be brought to life by everybody so yeah it's kind of bare bones melody lyrics and chords on a guitar and do you hear those other parts like the yeah, you sort like of imagine sometimes. now deborah and, and molly kind of singing their parts in there yeah sometimes sometimes i have a real like excited idea about what the harmony should do or a specific beat or something like that and i'll be like very adamant about at least letting those ideas see the light of day and um, other times it's just like a blank canvas. It's like, what should we do with this? Oh, really? Yeah. I, wow. So it's it's nice in that way. As much as it is coming from a, you know a preordained place, it definitely can uh, acquire a different personality through the process. All right. Now, I don't know if there's uh, any speed and rasp on this next song you're going to play for us, but uh, set up this one for me. It's called Angry Sea. This is an older tune, right? Molly, you want to set this one up? Angry Sea, well, it was my personal favorite on the previous, our first album, Touch Up. It's about just 
the sick the sickness really of what it is to be human um i know that sounds kind of dark but <laughs> it is a dark song okay <laughs> yeah it's called angry sea and that's all <laughs> all right well let's hear it this is mother mother on the cbc radio three sessions and the song is angry sea This next song is an older song from our first record and uh, since then it has fallen off our, our live set list so it's very nice to have a chance to revive it today. It's called Angry Sea and it was one of the darker songs on that record and we went in a darker direction after that record so it's, a, it's an important song in the evolution of this band's sound. And uh, I guess if I had to say it's about anything, it's about all the problems in the world today f in the form of a, a tsunami that uh, is crashing on a perfect and pristine beach. Angry Sea. This next song is a very old song. It goes way back. And uh, this song was on our first record. And it, in fact, was the only song that we did in one take on that record. And uh, it's, uh, it's a darker song. Some people think it's about abortion, which uh, is not entirely true. It's not that touchy of a subject. But it is about a good friend's miscarriage. And uh, it's called Little Hands. Thank you. 
Mother and Mother on the CBC Radio 3 Sessions and the song Little Hands. Uh, Ryan, you introduced that song as, as one that you did in one take. Is that right? For the, for the yeah. previous record? Mm. Uh, it's not that impressive. It was, it's just, it was just me and Molly okay. singing it like on our sofa. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I have to ask you about it because there, I mean, you hear the kid sound and you used a, a yeah. sample of a kid sound in this recording that you did just right now, but it was a sample now on the album. Was that actual kids? Yeah, we okay. we lived by a park at the time, and I sort of skulked out there one morning and with an MP3 recorder and recorded these these little children playing in a playground, and uh, I probably looked like a very dubious character <laughs> doing it. They still have the restraining order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not allowed to go back oh, there. No. Right? But um, it worked out magically. I brought it back to Howard because, I mean, he phoned me that morning. He was like, dude, if you want kids on this mm-hmm. song, you got to go record them now. Okay. So I went and I did walk straight to his house. Howard, the producer, Howard, Howard Redekop. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, we just threw the, the, the kids on a channel and just let it play over the song. And it was the exact length of the song and in every little moment of rest in the song there are these beautiful outbursts of of children screaming in glee while they play and it was it was totally perfect and we didn't have to change a thing or apply any manipulation so yeah that's a a magical song very cool yeah very cool and I, I sort of think about that that time because you've described it as sort of sitting around on the couch or it's a real kind of homey way of recording around one microphone and 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 all of this kind of stuff when you first started out as a band and of course we were tense it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> homey like that <laughs> <laughs> and I, I guess I'm thinking about the the uh, sort of evolution because so much has happened that's that was sort of three or four years ago working in that manner now you know you get into bigger studios have have gotten to tour. What is it? Or tell me, is it is it easier or harder to be mother mother when you look back on those three or four years ago to where you are now? Is it is it tougher or, or easier, and or maybe both? It was definitely both. Mm-hmm. It was harder back then because you kind of don't know how to find your place in this big bad industry. You know, getting those sea legs and just understanding how to proceed and who you are and where your place is is kind of a daunting feeling. But having come to where we are now, it it feels good to be settled into a groove of touring and recording and to kind of know what we're doing and understand the path, the cycle, if you will. And um, but at the same time, there's there's a loss of innocence mm-hmm. now because it becomes very professional, and the the mystery in, in the initial days is a, is kind of a fun place to live mm-hmm. because anything can happen, and you soon realize that most things don't, and the things that aren't takes a long, long time. So. Yeah, there's like a there's a real blissful ignorance in those early days. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that too as well, Molly? I do, or? but it's always like I I now wish that I could feel that way, and then I wish that I was where I am now. So it's always the grass is always greener, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's it's I think the challenge is trying to bring that blissful ignorance, as you call it, to 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 the present and always have it, and that's uh, tough I'm, to yeah. do. I think that's the next stage, really. Yeah. That we're, we're almost through the second phase. Okay. And so now the third phase is back to the blissful <laughs> ignorance. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I was curious about what the next phase was. Yeah. Is, there, is there, how do you get, how, do, how are you managing to, or how are you proposing to do that <laughs> then? Well, you lose the lofty, this is where we have to go kind of thing. And you start experiencing and enjoying the now. I know that sounds very cliche, it is, but that's the truth. I can't believe it, said I that. know. <laughs> it's the truth. It, yeah. there, it, there is truth in cliches, I think. So <laughs> Cliches yeah. are cliches for a reason. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I want to thank you guys so much for coming in. This has been no, an awesome, our pleasure. awesome time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we, uh, we, of course, are going to have you play a couple more songs before you go back out of the rainy streets there. But uh, what, what are you going to do for us? Uh, we're going to do a song called Wrecking Ball. It's off uh, the latest record. The song's just fun to play. It kind of just plays itself in a lot of ways, and the message is, is fun to get into as well. It's kind of about just uh, feeling proud and 
allowed to to break things and to be aggressive and to sort of lose it. This is what the song is about. And uh, yeah, you can kind of apply that spirit to the performance. And uh, we do, and we will. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to break things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Studio 2 will never be the same yeah, after this song. It will cease to exist. <laughs> we're, we're through with it. Um, the, the song after that, our closer, is going to be uh, A Love to Death, which is uh, it's a song sung by Deborah Jean. And uh, yeah, it was a song that didn't make it onto the album. And uh, so it's great to, to have a chance to cast new light on it today. And uh, yeah, the song is about just the the awful and small feeling one has when when being in love, you know. Uh, not that I know anything about that. Wow. <laughs> I'm <laughs> always learning some new things about you, right? <laughs> As I say, with a hint of sarcasm. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, yeah, it's about a vulnerability there that 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 is inherent in being in love. It's the one love song, and of course, it's very atypical and not flowery. And I look forward to it. Thank you very much, Mother Mother. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan and Molly there on the mic. All right, we are going to hear Wrecking Ball along with Love to Death. This is Mother Mother on the CBC Radio 3 Sessions. Hello, this is Ryan from Mother Mother. We're here in Vancouver at CBC Radio 3. And this next song is entitled Wrecking Ball. It's off our latest release, Oh My Heart. And um, it's a a celebration of anger, this song. It sort of speaks to the, the soft animal in each of us that tells us it's okay to break things from time to time. Windows, hearts, whatever.
This next song that we're going to play is a song that we recorded along with the rest on our new album, but it didn't quite make it on. And uh, so this is a great opportunity to serve this song and capture it in a different light. It's called Love to Death, and it's about the, the vulnerability while being in love, or I guess too much of a good thing. That was Mother Mother with Love to Death on the CBC Radio 3 Sessions. Thanks for this week's recordings to Don Harder, N.J. McDonnell, Marcus Jolie, James Booth, and Marie Bartlett. For more live off-the-floor studio recordings, please visit us at www.cbcradio3.com. Next week on the CBC Radio 3 Sessions podcast, we're going to bring you some more live recordings, this time from our BC Scene live broadcast, which took place in Ottawa at Capitol Music Hall. And the performers on the bill were Black Mountain, Lady Hawk, and the Pack AD. So that's next week on the CBC Radio 3 Sessions. Thanks a lot for joining me, and we'll see you in seven days.